Hi and welcome to my random ruminations. So yeah, I'm just out of the bath, hence the wet hair and the general glow of feeling not totally and utterly shit. But that's not important right now. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Konami. Konami recently cancelled uh, Silent Hills, which of course is one of those games that everybody waits with waits for with bated breath. It's it's like Metal Gear or the next Halo or I'm actually trying to think of another game series that big. The next Diablo. If you're a fan, you wait with bated breath. And of course, Konami cancelled it. And now they are getting shitloads of hate. Like, ridiculous amounts of hate online. And what I want to say is, um, they don't deserve it. Here's the thing. Konami isn't a person. Konami is a company. And as a company... It owes a debt of duty to its owners, its employees, and its shareholders. That's it. It is entirely up to the board and the management of Konami to decide whether something is the right path for their company to take. It is entirely their right to decide if they want to cancel something or not, if it is, in their opinion, in the best interest of their company. Because here's the thing. If Konami or any other major company takes makes a big mistake in something, that's the end of the company. Companies have gone under for less things than cancelling a game. Companies go under every day. And when that happens, especially with a company as big as Konami, thousands of people suffer. And I don't mean gamers. Here's the thing. Konami might be going under. I don't know. I don't think anybody outside of Konami's inner circle knows for sure right now what is going on inside that company. But what I do know is that Konami have a legacy of bringing joy to gamers for decades. There's a reason why older gamers like me remember the Konami code. You know, we do. There's a reason we can think back to Konami's various games, and even the bad ones have a major sense of nostalgia. Konami was a part of our childhood, and a part of our teens. It is an integral part of the weave of gaming history. It's as integral in its own way as Nintendo is, or Sega, or Atari. It's actually more or less the same era. I mean. Konami may have, I know they did slot machines and that's what they started with, but I don't know if they ever had their own game console. But it doesn't matter because their games have been on basically every console. If you've owned a console, you've probably played a Konami game. So here's my thoughts, my real thinking on this, which is really, really simple. If Konami are going under, we don't owe them anger, we owe them gratitude for hundreds of hours of joy and entertainment and frustration and elation and being intrigued and being entranced and being frightened and being excited. We owe them a, a, a thanks for giving us all of those emotions. We don't owe them hatred because they cancelled a game, especially when we don't know the background of why that game was cancelled. We don't really, whatever might be out on the me in the media at the moment about why it happened, we don't really know what happened. And right now, I'm just hoping Konami aren't going under. We've lost enough great game companies. It would be nice if we kept a few for a change. Anyway, that's it. I am going to go and record some Lost Vikings. So I will talk to you all again on Tuesday. And, um, of course, Lost Vikings tomorrow. Uh... Yeah, time to go gaming. Bye for now.